Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a health bar with a gradient effect on it. So we can see you can press space bar to remove and this is the project you'll have once we're finished. This project will also be on GitHub as well if you want to uh, bypass doing the tutorial. So I'll give a demonstration of what you can do with this. We could add as many colors we, as we want. Um, let's change the red to pink. Why not? Oops. And then we could change the max health to say 30 and then run the scene. And as you can see, it uh, demonstrates the gradient effect. So let's get through it. I'm going to use this as my um, backup scene so I know I don't get too lost. Let's go into the scripts. Right. And now we're going to. So, what you're going to need is a health point. Art and it's important that it's white and grey, so you do a grey scale. And the reason for this is it's easier to change colour of something that's white opposed to something that says blue. So let's start. So let's go to the other node, make the health point first. So we're going to need a rec texture rect for this. We're going to move over the art into the texture. We're going to resize this. I don't think it matters too much about the resize. And then I'm gonna say gonna save this to health. Make sure you save it. We can close that down because we won't need it now. Uh, we're gonna make a H box container. We're gonna rename this to health bar. Let's just do that. I don't think this matters either. And I'm gonna save this. And now we're gonna attach a script to this. So let's attach a script. Um, yeah, health bar script is good. We're going to need the process, so let's make sure we've got this. The reason we use the process is when I press spacebar, I want to reduce the, uh, the health. So let's move this out of the way. Let's put our export variables in first. So export gradient. I want to save our health gradient. Export pat scene. And this is going to be our health point that we saved earlier. And um, we're going to say health equals zero. And we're going to go export. And it's important that this is a float. I'll explain a little bit later why. And max health equals 15. And now we're going to go to. Actually, let's save this. Let's go back and let's click here. So let's put a new gradient in. Um, I'll just my default one. Like so. And I'm going to say our health point. Make sure you load it. And we're going to go health point here. Open. So now that's ready to be accepted in. So let's go back to our script and we're going to go to ready and we're going to set up the health bar so we're going to add in as many health bars as there is max health. So we're going to say, actually first we're going to say health equals max health so we know where we actually are currently with our health. Um, I mean really we could have changed health to current health, that would make more sense. So we'll set up the health and we'll go down to here, we're going to go funk set I'll get there in the end. Um, so what do I need? I need to say 4i in the range. And we're going to go max health. So basically for every point in max health, we're going to add in a child. So add a child. And then we're going to instigate the health point. So health point dot instance. And then... I always forget to do the dot dot dot. If I save that, now when I run the scene, we should see the health. Brilliant. So obviously we've not applied the gradient to it just yet. So we know that's working. Let's go back to the script. Um, what else do we want to do now? So let's update the color. So if we're down here, I'm going to say update color. And then we're going to go down here. Oh yeah, because we have to make it. Funk update color. Let's pass 
Now I'm going to say for I in get children. So we're getting the children of the health bar, which will be all the text direct children. For I in get children. Then we know that I is uh, is a child. So we're going to say I dot modulate. I keep doing that. Sorry about that. I dot mod. We're not going to upgrade. Dot in. So interpolate means that we could do something like this. We could say so. How the grad? Sorry about this. How the gradient works is you interpolate it from 0 to 1. So 0 0.5 is yellow. 0 0.75 would be around about here. So to demonstrate that, we're going to say 0 0.5 to make, the, to make it yellow. So let's run this and it should be yellow. There you go. So we're going to do a little bit of maths to do a percentage. So we can do a percentage and convert it so it would be like 0 0.1 all the way to one. Oops, wrong thing. Scripts. So let's do the math here. Then. We're going to say, so it's got to be floats as well because it, it um, if it's an int, it'll it can only be zero or one, right? So you can't go between. That's why we made our max health a float. So we'll do float. I, which is a child, get the index of i, which will turn its index number. Ooh, I don't like that. And then we're going to divide that by max health. And this is actually just giving us a percentage. There we go. So now if I run the scene, there we go. So pretty much that's it. That's how, how you do it. It's, um, let's just make sure it is working properly. Let's make it like a, more of a rainbow, right? And let's make this first of like green steam. Let's run it. Ta da! Yep, there we go. Brilliant. Um, I'm trying to think. So, yeah, if you wanted to remove health, um, I'm sure you could work this out yourself, but we'll just continue for the sake. So, I'm going to go where in my. I... Oh, there it is. Sorry. Whoops. So if import dot is actually just press and we'll say accepts because we know that's the space bar. And then oh I keep doing that. And then we're basically gonna remove we're, we're gonna remove um, the child that's at the end. So you wouldn't remove the first child because then it would go backwards. So to do that we would would basically say, in fact, I'm going to make a front correct so remove half to so it's a little bit more meter. Funk move half. Oh, can I should get rid of the. Yep, there we go. So we're going to say if get child count is. Oopsie, Count is greater than zero, then we know that a child exists. If we try to do this without a child not existing, we get an out of bounds error. So we know that if we've got more than one, if we've got more than no children, then one exists. Then we say get a child, get a child count because we've got the very end one, and then make sure you do a minus one because it's the end. It's programming, so you have to do minus one because it's in an array, so you have to count for zero. Oh, that's explained well. And um, free it, so we're going to remove it. And so you're getting an out of bounds here. Get your health count, isn't it? Oh, did I not do the. There you go. And then if I run this. There we go. There you go. So if you'd like me to elaborate on anything, um, please give me a message in the comments. Uh, do you have a Discord server you want to join? I'll put that in the comments as well. Um, I can also do this in C Sharp as well. I find it easier to do this in C Sharp than in GD Script. If anyone wants to know that, I would happily do it. So just give me a shout. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, take care. Goodbye.